But when you have Sapphire, I mean, come on, guys. This is this is. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm absolutely. Kids, don't try this at don't, home. Yeah. Good morning. So papunta ako ngayon sa isang watch collector that I met through Facebook marketplace of all the of all the places. Andito lang pala siya sa Davao at napahalapit lang sa akin. Puntahan natin and let's check out kung ano ang kanyang mga collection. Good morning. Are you living here with your family or? Oh, yeah, 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 what's going on here? What's up everybody? How you doing? Ah, yes. Alright. I thought you were gonna say that uh, I'm not allowed to go on YouTube with you, but in fact you're okay, yeah. Okay, man. Dili tayo sa Dabao. Kumusta ka mo tanan diha? Tanan, tanan ka man foreigner. Ka mo mga today. Ka mo mga just today. Learn Bisaya. You're from Texas. You're an American. Or are you Filipino? Half Filipino? Or? I'm just brown, bro. I'm just, I'm just human, man. I'm human being. You know what I'm saying? I'm brown. I'm just here. You know? You know I'm just, I'm just like you guys. You know? I'm just, uh, I'm just a person, man. All right. So uh, let's go inside and check it out if you want to. Ah, yeah. These are the pieces that some is on yeah, some, a piece, some yeah. of the pieces. Yeah, we'll, we'll check it out in a little while. And see what's up. Yeah. Majority of the, the the pieces that I have are gonna be the Invicta brand. But remember guys, these are these are the collection that spans 20 years. So this is not the new line where now the name of the brand Invicta has now been stained and it's now been smeared by the cheap, you know, oversized, you know, because nowadays, just like what he mentioned uh, earlier in the month, uh, he is now graduating to the lesser size diameter, <laughs> which is 40. 40 is my go-to size. Uh -huh. that's, that's what I like. That's a uh, sweet 40, spot yeah, size. Sweet, I yeah. just realized that yeah. recently, you know? But like I said, the, the beauty of this, like I said, uh, this particular models here, most of these are limited to the production at that particular run of, of, of you at know. At that particular time, 15, 15 years that's ago. That's right. So when they said we're gonna make a Lugano in a yellow carbon fiber, we're talking about raw, unprocessed carbon fiber, but it's just dyed, it's dyed in color, so where it's there. But like I said, most of these pieces, I mean, for God's sake, these are, like I said, sapphire uh, uh, crystal, so it ensures that the, uh, now, they've been sitting for a while, so if Something they're not- don't have batteries, man. Yeah, okay. so if they're, if, yeah, if they're running, uh, that means they've been recently been serviced. Uh -huh. I have a guy here that he's the only one that I trust. That services that your That services watches. my pieces, that's right. Uh, there is uh, uh, in a case where, like I said, I don't get to wear these that often because there's so many. So they'll sit in a watch box, and before you know it, uh, the, the battery life has expanded or it has, has already expired, you know. Uh, but in most cases, uh, I've been collecting for over 20 years. But like I said, it wasn't really the brand for me uh, that I was endorsing, but it was the quality material of products. Now, I understand that there are newer materials now, but remember, 15, 20 years ago, and even in some recent cases, excuse me, uh, 316L stainless steel is still the go-to uh, go go material go for obviously uh, reasons of health, which means they've got to be able to hypoallergenic. be hypoallergenic. Yeah. Uh, they're they're not going to damage your skin. They're not going to, uh, you know, uh, deal with uh, any kind of irritation. Uh, Something interesting here, okay, let's talk about this blue one here. Hi. Okay, so this blue one here, uh, it's very rare that Invicta will ever make a round lupa like this, okay? The lupas are infamous for their cyclops type crystal. Yeah. So where it's highly magnified because the whole thing is, and, and like, I'm like a magnified window in some pieces like this. The whole thing is a magnifying glass, if you will. So it's amazing to look at, but here's the thing. Encasing that magnified uh, uh, dial, is actually grade triple A, raw from the Pacific Ocean, grade A, A triple A mother of pearl in black. So that's uh, that's that's crazy. So the light it, it literally dances uh, when you put a shine yeah, to it. Yeah. But the most interesting uh, item about this particular watch, but they were so proud of this material here, material here, and they referred to this as Lorica. Well, what, what, what? This material oh, okay. of, of, of strap. strap. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not familiar with that particular uh, product or uh, material that is used in some of the most 
hardcore automotive or automobile uh, racing uh, scene. Mm -hmm. So it is, it is gonna be uh, fireproof, the main thing. I'm not sure what kind of significance that would be on, on, on a watch. watch. <laughs> but they thought it was a pretty uh, pretty badass material, exotic at the time. Exotic. Yeah, so Lorica, yeah, Lor yeah Lorica. So like I said, the same thing as those 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 race car suits are made out of. It's like leather. leather. That's right. Yeah, but it was a, uh, and of course I was crazy enough one time to put a lighter to it, and sure enough it didn't burn. I'm serious. Yeah. So yeah, but for a good. 15 year old watch with a leather that you've already worn, it's still looking it, fresh. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's and got, you can, it's and you can always, yeah, yeah, you can always change the strap. And this particular one here is going to be 24 millimeter in width. Uh, it is a chronograph Swiss made. Uh, this one's working. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And like they've been sitting for a while, so if the time is not set, it's because it's haven't I mean, been, you, you know, you haven't been playing around. Yeah, with especially it. after watch, you know, changing the, the 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 time, you know, I'm sure it wasn't set. But not to not to be endorsing any kind of products in your channel, but if it's okay, you can always edit this out. But something like this, guys, uh, I probably got about invested originally in this about $250. Wow. So something like this, if you were to want this in your wrist, like I said, I mean, if you agree, it's not brand new. The only thing that, that tells it that it's a little bit older, uh, older is it's a strap. strap. Yeah, <laughs> otherwise, but then these are also uh, removable, obviously, like I said, 24 millimeter, you can always put, imagine a nice, like uh, alligator yeah, type okay. pattern. Nah, but I wouldn't change it, that, the, yeah. that Lorica thing is, it's, it's, it's pretty cool, it's original, it's, yeah. It's one of so you're looking at about 20 year old right here, 20 year old piece, and like I said, uh, oh, that black mother pearl. Take a look at it's that. Really that's nice. amazing, it's man. Just, that's crazy. It has this. It's playing with the light when you you look at it. That's that's one of the nicest thing about mother of pearls. Uh, it's not even uh, it's not even abalone. Abalone right. is different. That's this one is black pearl, and that's just the yeah, pearl. It's, it's that's the rainbow the, effect. That, that's exactly. the rainbow effect. That's the actual abalone texture. is much more pronounced in its color. Right. But this one is just black pearl but when you look at it through the light how yeah. it's how the dome sapphire crystal is working on it oh, it's yeah. just so nice man so. it's amazing you know and like <laughs> i said you know we can talk about this stuff all day long guys but what i'm saying is that i want to make a you know a disclaimer i'm not pushing this brand I, i'm no no but yeah, this I is have no personal affiliate, yeah i have no affiliation with uh uh Lalo or uh, the invicta group you know i know they have an office in hollywood florida uh, which where I ordered most of these pieces, like I said, over 15 years ago, 20 years ago. You know what I'm yeah. saying? When when I thought uh, the quality materials was on point, uh, this one here is an Espadon uh, 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 tonneau case, very heavy, very solid piece. Uh, this one I've never worn, so this one be considered here would be uh, the wear and tear would be under uh, display only. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a Amazing. I have a penchant for tonneau you know, cases. Yeah, tonneau cases. Yeah, they're very beautiful. Yeah, this is wow. It's amazing. I've seen this. I think you. I saw you sent this to me. Picture, picture, yeah, I mean, but yeah. It doesn't do the picture justice in you know, real life. Yeah, when you it, have it in your head, it's like wow, big ass watch. The, the present, you know. Like, and like I said, it's the design. It's comfortable. It hugs your wrist. It's amazing, man. You know. If you want to remove your piece and try it on, I mean, a couple of you can also do that. You're more than welcome to, man. It's pretty, it's like I said, it's pretty cool. We share, it's, guy, this is like, it's like a passion for time pieces. That's all that is. No, we're not here to, we're not here to argue with anybody or saying that this is better than what's out there or something. No, we're not doing that. It's just that this is a passion that we have and we, and you know, I just met, this is my neighbor, but I just met him <laughs> today and it's a common bond. We just share the passion for pieces, man. It's, it's pretty cool. Look at that. And in your own words, you can describe how it feels in your watch. I know it's a little bit luggy and a little bit bulky, but ah, it's, it's still it's perfect. Yeah, it's because perfect. it's, you know, the, what he's trying the to contour, get at. The contour, yeah. contour. There's a contour on the watch. And when you do the lug to lug thing, like an Omega would, lug to lug, it's so long, but this one has a contour. So it hugs your, your wrist. wrist. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? I love it the sword so type, nice. you know, uh, hand. Hands. It's amazing, dude. Yeah. It, it, wow, I, I detail love it, yeah. is so nice on this watch. Wow. Uh, you know, it is. Uh, I think it still has a sticker in the it back. It still has yeah. a sticker in the back. Yeah. Unworn. I've never worn that. Yeah. Wow. Uh, it, it's a true chronograph. It's got, a, uh, I believe, an Eta D10 movement. So it's wow. a true Swiss made. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Nice watch. It's pretty cool, man. I mean, the Lupa was nice because. 
if you guys would be checking this out, a Grand Lupa now, it doesn't look like this. It's like an oval shape. Yeah, oval uh, and it's uh, quite the, big. Yeah. It's quite large. I though. like this because it's just a classic round shape. Yeah. So I believe this came in two versions, which is a bracelet and uh, but you know guys, for, for the ultimate collector, this is a chronograph with the adult quartz. Uh, Invicta, back in the day, like I said, of course, back in the day, they did produce a version of this, same exact case, but with the impressive, the legendary, the infamous Valjoux 7751 chronograph, automatic, yes. mechanical, mechanical, automatic. Mechanical chronograph. That would be, at the time, I couldn't afford that. Obviously. How much was that? How much was uh, that? At the time, that watch went for about $1,500. Wow. So imagine how much would today, that be today. If you had a collection of the, you know, imagine, you know, with the, you know, with the, with the appreciation and, and collectivity, col because of collectability, uh, because it is uh, a limited production, especially an automatic, you know, automatic uh, version and chronograph. So you have to understand some of the bigger names, and I'm not sure if we're allowed to mention other brands yes. here. Yeah, you know some of the bigger names that use that movement. The most famous is uh, uh, what is the name of the the, the the watch? They're always having a khaki model. Uh, Hamilton. Hamilton. Hamilton is infamous for using the Valjoux movement. Yeah, they love that. That's like their go-to workhorse as far as the movement because it's legendary. It's it's what. Uh, there's a couple of very, very famous names out there that's using that watch. Yeah, Breitling being one of them. Breitling also. And I'm telling you, they're 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 very they're quite infamous when it comes to their um, movements because, uh, you know, in, in in Switzerland there is only a handful of uh, companies that make the, the what you would refer to as engines, and these are the movements of the watch inside to power machines, it. Machines, machines. Yeah, they that's right. The machines. Yeah. Yeah, and so. Uh, so don't 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 get it twisted, guys. So if you're wearing some watches right now, whether it's Michael Kors, whether it's Diesel, whatever the hell it is, I guarantee you, a more famous watch brand, if it's not a knockoff of that, will be the producer of oh, the that, movement. Yeah, That's yeah, right yeah. inside. Uh, in this case, from the from the Asian or uh, in the Southeast Pacific uh, realm of the world, would be the the go-to would be uh, Citizen Miola or the, obviously the Seiko. And so uh, yeah, don't get it twisted, man. I understand these brands produce their own models, but they actually make more money selling movements to actually watch companies. Mm -hmm. So in comparison, the best way to compare this is like the American truck companies, which is Freightliner, Freightliner uh, you have Max, Max and all that. Those are what you call cab makers. Uh -huh. But the engine suppliers are like Detroit Diesel, uh, Cummins Diesel. Okay, Cummins. They're the supplier of the engines to power the cab. So when you look at Kenworth, Freightliner, Peterbilt, those are just cab makers, guys. They just make the shell of the that's truck. Right. So yeah. Similar to what, that's what watches are about. Okay. That's what they're about. That's yeah, right. yeah. The yeah. engine is the most, the yeah. machine is the there most are, important. Yeah, there are very rare, it's very rare that a company makes the whole thing in-house. Very rare because it's cost effective and obviously it demands a lot of uh, attention to detail. And we could name a few, but you know, otherwise, I'm not sure how they would, you know, <laughs> like us for that. But so yeah, there we go. Uh, another brand that I like, or brand, uh, the models, uh, and remember guys, this is a long time ago, I have not lost the boxes, so I don't know some of the names of these models, but they're here. Uh, are we allowed to talk about, uh, 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 like, uh, replicas? like replicas? Yeah, I think so, yeah, it's okay, sure? yeah. it's okay. That's cool. Okay. This uh, is a nice Seamaster, uh, Speedmaster. Yeah, this uh, is Speedmaster, Speedmaster. Yeah, triple digital, uh, digital uh, uh, chrono I mean, chrono yeah, chronograph, uh, analog. Uh, you know, for, for a, a throw-around type, throw-around type watches, uh -huh. Why in the world would you want to wear something that's uh, in harm's way of obviously getting Chemicals, damaged, you know, getting, getting stolen, bumpy, yeah, getting, exactly. you know, someone will cut your wrist, you know, just <laughs> because of that. So, uh, like I said, in my opinion, not to degrade the companies or kind of, you know, uh, uh, belittle them in any way or any kind of uh, uh, just outright robbery of their products. I mean, let's face it, okay, guys? The world of replicas, even in the phone, it's thriving whether you like it or not. It's so just it. It's, it's part of it's part of it's our part you know, of everything of our culture, man. Yeah. You know well, what I'm saying? Well, I always say that because once you get a replica, you always pay homage. I mean, you're always going to be looking to the original That's ones. That's right. So you know, it's, it's a part of like their advertising. Right. right. So, in other words, don't criminalize the people that are making this. Uh, in any way or even the ones using it buying right. it because what i'm saying is that like i said uh, it exists for a reason okay now whether or not regulations are in place no, to no right so that's not up to us 
So don't like, you know, come up to us and or particularly that, to me and hey, say that I'm, yeah, I'm endorsing uh, the, somehow the underworld. But that's not the case. What I'm saying is that this type of industry, which in fact is a billion dollar industry mm -hmm. and more, it exists for that reason, okay? In other words, the commerce world has always been about competition. So if anything, the benefit of this to the real makers is it'll push them even further right. to integrate even better products uh -huh. to sell to the community. So that's what it's about. Uh -huh. I think they should look at it in such a way. Right, so exactly. where, like I said, it pushes you to have, hey, you better have a better product because uh -huh. look what they're paying for it. Uh -huh. and, and you know you know damn well, I'm talking to you now out there in this, in this YouTube world, the ridiculousness and, and, and it's not a bad thing because like I said, you get what you pay for, but the ridiculous amount that some of these companies do demand for their products. So I feel like the world of not just replicas, but in every aspect of any kind of e-commerce, any kind of productivity uh, for uh, exchange of, uh, of uh, payment, which is whatever you sell, buy and sell demand, it should push, if anything, it should push these companies to do better uh, in providing not just better, better material, better, better service, better right. everything. That's right. Yeah. I wanted to clarify that. That's right. Uh, it's okay. We're not being defensive here. No, we're just we're saying, just, we're just what, saying the what, what, the, what it's about there, what we've observed, and that's what it's about. I don't mean any kind of negative uh, you know, a uh, uh, gesture towards his channel has got nothing to do with that. And Still, full disclosure, yeah, uh, we yeah. do not support buying yeah. replica. That's right, <laughs> that's right. It's just personal experience. Yeah, yeah. We're just having fun with this stuff, man. Uh, they do review a lot of this stuff. Uh, so you've got these two badasses here. I mean, they're a pair. Yeah, these are, the, these are Loganos. Uh, the, the, you know, I like loud colors. Do you know what I'm saying? So this particular version here came with blue and silver carbon fiber. But I opted to get the yellow and red. So they're carbon fiber pattern. No, no, they no, look, no, no. They look like rubies, man. Yeah, no. Uh, when you say pattern, uh, what, what that comes across as is as if it's synthetic or uh -huh, any kind, uh, yeah, some, exactly, some kind of exactly, sticker. Yeah, yeah, no, these are actual carbon fiber uh, plates that obviously was made into a dial then dyed uh, into whatever color they so desired. This, this is not a stick on, this is no. not a paint on, this That's is not actual <laughs> carbon fiber. fiber. And remember guys, in the time when these came out, to show you how exotic the materials were, only only the very high-end race cars had these, and some obviously aerospace uh, usage, mm -hmm. had this kind of materials. Uh, just like titanium and any other exotic materials. Carbon fiber, and still to this day, it's very, very exotic. So, so what's this called? A Lagano? A Lagano model was about 15 years ago. Uh, once again, very heavy, very thick, yeah. uh, solid inlinks, a uh, solid case. Wow, uh, it wears nice. Yeah. I mean, you've got white watches that they really wear nice. Yeah, as you can see here by the buckle and the clasp, look how worn out that is. Because I've worn this many times. But because of the sapphire crystal, guys, the dial looks brand new. It's nothing. That's right. It's nothing and, and like I said, so here we have an exacto knife. It's <laughs> a hobby grade, very sharp, very sharp knife. Okay, this is a this is a hobby grade. Mm -hmm. This is a stainless steel, very sharp material. Uh, it will definitely it will even cut this granite here. Yeah, it's gonna but leave a gash. But when you have a, but when you have sapphire, I mean, come on, guys. This is this is. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm absolutely. Kids don't try this at home. Yeah, this is this could damage <laughs> materials otherwise not designed for. Okay, uh -huh. so but look at this sapphire it, glass. I mean, it, this is very sharp and it will surely cut me if I were uh -huh. to do that. But look at this. There's I mean, nothing I will there. absolutely stab it. <laughs> you know, but run your finger through there there's and, and, and there. check I'm it sure. out. Check it out. I'm sure there's nothing there. See, it's absolutely there's nothing amazing, on the reflection. Man. Wow. Uh, the only material, as far as I'm concerned, from what I've been reading. A uh, harder than sapphire crystal is diamond. So that we can take a breather and drink some water because we were going really fast. Okay, that's cool. Now we added, you added some stuff. Uh, a, stuff a couple, here. A couple yeah. of stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. Couple, yeah. Uh, the, the, the question earlier was by our you know, host here was, what is my favorite beater watch? Which watch uh, do I grab? Whether I'm in a hurry, just a quick run, a quick errand, whatever, okay? And of course, I showed him this. I showed him this. Uh, it is a 2002 uh, limited edition 40 millimeter automatic. Uh, 
black raw carbon fiber dial with uh, Cyclops uh, magnifying on the three o'clock. Uh, the dial is 100% carbon fiber here. Uh, sapphire crystal front and back, or front rather because it's solid, it's solid in the uh, back, uh, solid uh, case back, screw down case back. Right there. Yeah, I got it. And so if you notice the uh, uh, hours there, uh, marking it's very similar to their uh, Ocean Ghost series uh, but this one's got the obviously I don't want to call it a Pepsi uh, I think it's a coke it's more of a coke because of the black and red right it's uh, not necessarily a Pepsi type of the uh, uh, it's got a color bezel yeah, instead the, of the, the bezel coinage, there yeah. instead of coinage yeah but it's the coloration that he mentioned it's black instead of blue but the red the metallic red seems to be on point uh, I couldn't explain to you why the luminescent is so great uh, since it's got seemed to have some kind of a white paint coating on the uh, our on the, markers and the markers but yeah, itself. It's, it's quite reflective that's right uh, we tried it a while ago with the flashlight just to say, uh, shine some light uh, the particular watch here moving on this one is going to be the uh, workhorse by citizen Miyota uh, I don't, it is a 21 Jewel. Is it 8212 or 9212? I, I think it's the 8212. 82, yeah, 8215, I mean. Yeah, yeah the, the, uh, the, the, the 21 Jewel uh, Miyota uh, Japan movement in, in, in powering this watch. Nothing to scoff at at me at this moment. They're just working. Yeah, they're, they, they are, for, 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 the, for what you're getting, like I said, for what you're getting, they've mastered the, the reliability issue uh, compared to others. And, and, and especially coming from that company, they're, you know, they're one of the most famous uh, brands there is. But look at that clasp, look at that diver's clasp, look at that. <laughs> it's so scratched up, it's so, it's so banged up. It's because it's my daily grinder, man, you know, that's what I grab. But like I said, in the ownership that I've had on this thing for almost, almost, almost 20 years, never once it has failed me uh, when I sit it a long time enough to where it surpasses its, you know, power reserve. I wind it, set the date and set the time and it's never ever I take it swimming with me all the time never had an issue ever. it's a 40 40 millimeter <laughs> dial that's right 40. and that's what like, that's what I like uh, you can pick on which one you want to talk about uh, well, I mean you, you took out the the beater watch I mean the everyday watches you added he added the sure, everyday sure, watches yeah. so mm -hmm. that was the first and sure the other ones uh, the, your everyday watch a uh, 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 quite unique uh, uh, brand here, I think. Uh, this is the only one I've, had, I've, I've gotten from this particular brand, but British company, uh, motorcycle, you know, for all you motorcycle fans yeah, out there, yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. Uh, Triumph. Triumph. Uh, wow. not, not Trump, like they have here, they have a Trump, Trump motor motorcycle. Dealer, 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 dealer. So it's the actual British brand, Triumph, okay? Uh, here we go, a chronograph uh, powered by a Japanese uh, movement there. I believe that's a uh, also a, uh, uh, a version of the citizen uh, movement there. I really cannot recall. Like I said, guys, this the collection expands over almost 20 years, so I can't recall a lot of the... Uh, it's uh, a chronograph, yeah? It's, yes. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's battery operated. Yeah, it's uh, quartz. It's quartz, right. Quartz. Yeah. Uh, this one was recently serviced uh, with new battery, uh, complete uh, removal of any moisture, that's right, and, and of course a new O-ring. Uh, as a seal in the back, yeah, and yeah, Triumph, man, that's that's a nice, nice brand. Yeah, this yeah. one is all original. Yeah, I've never wore it. It's never been worn. For all you bike freaks out there, uh -huh. for all you bike freaks out there, there you go, a Triumph brand. I mean, I would challenge you if you would, if you've ever seen the brand. You know, they, I know they got clothing, but uh, from this era, I don't. You know, it's it's quite a few. Uh, it's nice. Uh, very rare item there, yeah. And they even brag about how the, you know, look at the push, look at the push buttons, the pushers there, look like cylinders. Oh, okay. See that? Yes. Little details, yeah, it's pretty cool. So that's Triumph right there. I've had that for a while, uh, as far as that piece. Uh, my only third brand that I have that I also uh, adored, and, and I have a few pieces from them, is Croton. Cro Croton? Croton, yeah, like the, the kind of... Uh, not Kronos. No, 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 not Kronos. No, Croton. Croton is uh, also a name of a food item that you would add to salad. Croton, yeah. Croton, yeah. Croton, yeah. It's pronounced Croton, but it's the same spelling, that's uh -huh. right. But this particular one here uh, is a Croton, and it is a chronograph. Uh, the beauty of this is the dial is solid black 
mother of pearl grade triple A, but the little subdials are grade triple A white mother of pearl. Uh, very unique, very old English type of uh, our markers there. Uh, what do they call that? Roman numeral? Roman, Roman numeral. Yeah, yeah. yeah, very fantastic there. Uh, solid non movable bezel, it's, it's non movable, uh, non directional rather. But it is encased in solid sapphire crystal, guys. Uh, what an amazing two-tone that silver and you know that that you know that that you know the the gold right there, which is uh, yeah, they call it rose rose yeah, gold. Yeah, yeah. It it's not a yellow gold, dude. right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's rose, rose gold. gold. Yeah, it's an amazing timepiece uh, for you guys out there that have very very lovely wives. I bet you would <laughs> love to wear. I'm serious. Yeah, I notice nowadays the ladies like to wear little bigger watches. Yeah, well, I, I think it, this one is on the market. It's, I mean, imagine that because oh, this, this would blow away any of those uh, what they would consider, you know, class A, you know, the ones you get over there, PCLA, <laughs> you know, Michael Kors. Oh, it wouldn't make it's not even a comparison. Uh, very luxurious feel in the bracelet, yeah, very smooth butterfly class. That's yes. right, dual deploying class. That's right, it's very smooth. High, this is right here. This is actually a, uh, a Swiss piece uh, chronograph. Uh, like I said, uh, uh, and obviously uh, waterproof all the way down to I believe a hundred meters on wow. um, this one here, 10 ATM. That's right. Rose gold looks really nice. It really, it's, it really is nice. Like the sub dials are on mm -hmm. point. Uh, and the, the mother of pearls, yeah, the so black white mother black, of pearl, yeah. And, and the sub dials, it's an amazing piece. <laughs> uh, I really enjoy looking at it. Uh, this one here is a sea That's hunter. Here. Yeah, this it's is. This one is plastic it's and still, it's still has tags. tags. Like I said, guys, this is from 20 years ago. Uh, but 20 years ago, look at that. I mean, that is 600 bucks, man. You know, the retail is 600 dollars. <laughs> That's crazy. You know, 600 dollar retail. Uh, this is a true chronograph. Uh, you're looking at looks to be like an aluminum textured dial with you know white mother pro sub dials. Uh, we have a cyclops magnifying uh, identifying our date in the four o'clock. Uh -huh. That's right. But the dial, it's got the texture. What's the texture on the dial? It looks to be like a like a like a almost like a dash on a on a vintage car. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. See that? So it looks yeah. like a vintage car. Dial. But the little sub dials are white mother of pearl. Uh, you know, before I would sell this, I would obviously take it to get it. You know, full maintenance and new battery and everything. Yeah. I'm sure. If but it's got it the doesn't. shark skin looking uh, uh, dial, yeah, the, the, you know, the, the bracelet, mesh bracelet, very thick. Uh -huh. Otherwise, when you find these, you ever go to those bracelet stores in the mall, guys, and you try to find the shark mesh looking screen, they're very, very thin and flimsy. This is very solid, up to three millimeters thick. <laughs> This wire mesh uh, uh, bracelet. Yeah, wire mesh. Wire That's mesh, right. right. It has not been. Uh, it has not been trimmed. So it's, it still has the blue stickers from 15, 16, 20 years ago, guys. It still has the stickers for God's sakes. <laughs> so brand new. What what I would call this an old stock. Yeah, NOS. Yeah. New old That's stock. Right. A beautiful chronograph there. I still got the box. You still got the box for it. No. Uh, unfortunately, no boxes. I didn't so I, I see boxes here. What are these? Well, these, these boxes. These boxes here were would have been a free item from Invicta as a collector's a while ago, a while back. But I've already destroyed them because I've put uh, United Sticky, States uh, 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 tape here USPS. to secure it when I flew here. Because I flew with these items, man. Because I didn't. Of course, I didn't want to ship them. Uh -huh. You know, they're 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 valuable to me. And these could hold multiple pieces, so these are the boxes that I kept. Okay. All right. I, I thought it was vacant. They're, they got. They got. <laughs> no, they we, got have surprises, we, we have some surprises, man. I'm sorry, yeah, I ruined yeah, the surprise yeah. for you. It's man, okay. It's okay. Yeah. I mean, it's time to move on, anyway. So some, you know, other items, anyway. I'm, I'm looking at this tonneau again. Okay. So, so this is okay. So uh, we will talk about this watch. It's rather unique. Very, very thick. First of all, very, very thick genuine baby calf leather here and like a bracelet watch an actual deploying clasp on a mm -hmm. strap which is very rare uh, go, go ahead do so it. we're gonna go ahead and unstrap this so very rare to find an actual deploying clasp double at that on a uh, like i said a strap watch uh -huh. quite amazing uh -huh. Uh, you can easily adjust the length of the straight of the bracelet or yeah, the strap by removing but the, just removing uh, this buckle very nice solid thick uh, this is a true Swiss made chronograph I believe it is have a, it does have a G10 movement uh, it's a mechanical 
Uh, no, this is a quartz. Quartz. Yeah, it is a chronograph. Ah, a the, you sent the picture of this for me. That's right. It's it's the copper dial. Yeah, the captivating most is the wow. copper textured dial, guys, and they call this furnace blue. Uh, on the finish, on the on the little details, the details there. That's, that's right. right. So yeah, the R markers and whatnot. Yeah, that's a very rare. Uh, I'll tell you a little story. Uh, unlike, like I said, unlike the new line of Invictus, 20 years ago, this was the biggest dial you could get for a Lupa. I believe it's 44 meter millimeters long and about 40 millimeters wide. So still, very comfortable in the wrist. Very comfortable, man. I need, to, I need to check it out. I need to wear it. Sure, yeah. And you want to put this one here first. That one there yeah. first, and then that one, and push when you have it buckled. I know it's a little bit, you know, yeah, awkward, just put, but, but it's what an amazing, amazing piece. And just push, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what it looks like on the wrist. Oh, it's, it's pretty cool. So check that out. On the wrist, a copper dial, lupa. And look at that. I mean, the the, the distortion you see it's on the amazing, on yeah. the on the crystal, on the texture. Yeah. Look at that wrist roll. There you go, man. Wow. <laughs> and if you guys are wondering, yes, he he is selling uh, these pieces. Uh, so. Because you know, I, I told myself, you know, in the Philippines, I, I want to live as you know simple as simple as I can. But you know, at one time, you know, they, these meant a lot to me, so I brought them with me. Uh, so, but so? I've determined. Yeah. No, just go ahead and yeah, just go ahead and pull this one also on this side. Okay, there's kind of like a trick to it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is like I said. You know, you have a, a, a combination of buckle and deploying clasp, so quite intricate there, and and also very very thick. Genuine leather, very thick. That's just a heavy duty. Oh, yeah, it's a man. badass it's watch, man. It's so nice. You know, that's something I could see perhaps in you know a, a, a very muscular yeah, big, superstar big in Hollywood. I don't <laughs> want to mention his name because you know he might you know we might get in it's trouble. Big, but, yeah. It's huge. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, but you know what the crazy part is that this is actually not as big as most modern watches. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just about the right size. Yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah because the new ones are very yeah. annoying. You know, you're talking about 54 millimeters. I mean, you might as well, you know, like Fever Blade, you might as well wear a dang clock on your wrist, uh -huh. man. That's, that's crazy. Uh, so where let's, are we let's, now? Let's Good. move on to the, to the goodie box and see what's hiding in them. But, well, I just want to tell these guys sure, that yeah. what this, okay, this, this one, yeah. Go 40 ahead. mm is. Yeah, I sure. mean, off camera, Kanina, we were talking about it and I noticed this watch. And it's, you pointed out that this... The dial is the solid ceramic. Solid ceramic. It's the white is different. I noticed that the white was kind of not, not it's not it's not your usual white dial. I mean, it doesn't even focus. It's I don't know why. There it is. Wow, the white is different. It's so smooth, so crisp. Yeah, uh, it is encased in full sapphire crystal. So yeah, that's a nice one. Forty mm and. You know, we always got got the got to go with a big watch if if you if you want to be a little bit showing off. But 40 mm is the very most classy, right. very, very classy, very classic, and very very elegant when it comes classy, to classy. Yeah, yes, very, you, very, you don't very, come off as something that's showing off. You know, it's just yeah. a subdued 40 mm. It's just the right it's size. The right watch. size. Yeah, it's very um, very nice to, to look at. All right, go to the surprise. Let, let's see, well, let's, you know, they're, they're they're pretty much the same thing, but you know, uh, here's a pretty interesting piece here. Uh, uh, this is actually a limited production. Uh, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. Like, look at this. This is this is getting to be very. Uh, look at that. See that? See the moisture there? Because it's been uh, sitting for so long. Yeah, yeah. So this From will the get aircon. Yeah, this will. The, so this will get serviced. You know, uh, you know, this goes with the with the with the saying that. When you let something sit there for a long period of time and you don't use it, it'll spoil. It will spoil, yeah. You but you know, to, you luckily for it. these things, you know, uh, like I said, there is some very reputable, reputable uh, service centers here that I found, and he's the only one that service. Let me know who that is off camera. I will. Uh, I will. He. I trust him very much, and he does a very good job. And I will tell you that I have not brought this over there. Okay. Uh, What's that? Let me see that. 
Uh, that is a that is another limited production from a long time ago, and it's very. Uh, the beauty of this one here is the, is the absolutely multiple inlinks. That's that's ridiculous, man. That's very thick. Uh -huh. uh, it reminds me of uh, you know a very very nice uh, chain. Uh, very thick. The lugs are very thick, but very 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 soft in feel because. Remember guys, every single one of these links is individually cut. Every single one of these. It's like an, what do you call this, an engineer's. That's right. Engineer's strap, yeah. bracelet. I mean. That's, I mean, you're looking at a five row bracelet there. So every single one of these is individually cut. And then it's a combination of polished and brushed in those links. So imagine the labor intensive. Alternating, yeah, alternating polish. The polish. labor intensive uh, when it comes to that. Uh, here's a, oh, did I ever tell you about the lupas that are round, which is how ridiculous yeah, these are? Yeah, that, that one. That, that uh, well, believe it or not, uh, the dial, I didn't get to, I didn't, we didn't get to go through this earlier, but the dial guys, as you can see, it's there. But the bezel is internal. And this knob is how you turn the bezel when you're diving. Ah, I see. Look at that. See that? It's, it's got an internal it's the, bezel. It's the compressor. It's called the compressor style bezel. Th that's right. Yeah. Or the, yeah, the compressor style uh, button, uh, push here, pusher here, pusher. Rotating bezel, yeah. Right. But yeah, internal type uh, bezel, very unique. Wow. Very amazing. Uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad you pointed that out, man. It's a very, very it's nice very detail, important. yeah. yeah. It's and amazing, it and you can actually feel the resistance in the O-ring. It's very sealed. I love it, dude. So this is what I promised you guys about the close-up of the, the black dial with uh, see that uh, crystal and the uh, black mother of pearl inside. It's doing the rainbow stuff, and this is the with the fireproof uh, Lorica. 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 All right, and this is another. This is exact same model, but it's solid black with uh, silver subdials, mm -hmm. and the uh, uh, bezel is going to be in white. But otherwise, the same exact model as the uh, black mother. Well, Pro. you got to. Uh, I just noticed that you've got two of everything. You've got almost two. In of most, everything. yeah, in most, yeah, because like I said, I was an, an an avid collector, man. Like I said, when these came out, the material and build quality really jumped out at me. And that's why I attracted me to them. Very unique, very unique pieces, I'm telling you. Very unique pieces, man. This one doesn't have the Lorica strap. That's, that's, strap. that's leather, real leather, yeah. Oh, okay. That one is actual uh, uh, calf so leather. So it's also got the mother of pearl? This one does not. Oh, it doesn't have one. It's oh. solid black leather, and black I, dial. I, I, I like the silver uh, sub reverse panda subdials yeah. that's going on here. But this one too is it's it's not that <laughs> I mean these two watches they're just in a league of their own. They, they they're amazing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Alright. Let's see what's in this one. What's in that one? Wow. Here's an ocean ghost. I don't want to talk about these ones here because these are all automatics that are from my previous collection. The Brightlings, I see Brightlings. Yeah, but this is a replica here. But I got this in Dubai and I actually paid quite a bit of money for this. Uh, you can always decide mm -hmm. if you want to. But what a solid 1884 chronograph. What a solid piece, man. That's crazy. Wow, that's heavy. You, mean you wouldn't know that it's it a replica. It's a, it's, it. it's, a, it's a beautiful piece. Uh, I wear this all the time. It's a higher. Yeah, it is, the, it is their fighter series. It's a beautiful piece. Uh, like I said, once again, a combination of brushed and, and, and you know, and, and, and uh, stainless steel uh, and uh, polished. Uh, Here's a vintage uh, sapphire, I mean not sapphire, but a uh, 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 ocean ghost in automatic. But look at this, look at the, look at the, look at the colorful cabochon. Look at that. What do you call this? The uh, uh, cabochon. Cabochon. Okay. Yeah. Well, we've got uh, some fine details in there. That's right. This is the Swiss uh, logo for uh, the Invicta Swiss made pieces. Uh, so this is the reserve? Uh, no, you know, no. This is, this is the time when, when before the reserves came out. So this is before we way, way before that, yeah. Uh, these are pretty, I have this in two. I have this in the blue, deep blue, sky blue, or Invicta blue dial with silver accents. And then this one here is in a copper dial. Uh, both are automatic, that's right. Uh, this one here. Wow, is, and this, this one, is this one, nice. is in, this one is in two-tone. So exact same pieces, but different color. Wow. It's, once again, same, same exact model, but different color. Mm -hmm. Automatic. 
Uh, this is powered by the Miyota movement again. But a little bit bigger case, these are 42 millimeters, but impressive, impressive uh, nonetheless. <coughs> impressive little details. Oh no, my camera is going. All right, these two are the same, but look at that, copper and the blue tone. It's a very deep blue, isn't it? We're running out of camera battery, guys, so I think that will be it for this episode.